everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrub Edit Creations. Today I was cleaning out my closet and I came across some paper that I remember having but forgot having at the same time. Kind of like it's one of those papers where I did some stuff with it. I have some uh, paper still to, to create with and I was just forgetting that it was there on some levels. Um, but I was waiting till summer to share it. So it was one of those kind of mixed message in my brains things. Um, so it is summer vibes. I love this paper. I had so much fun with some of the stuff that I created. I'm gonna share one of the layouts. I didn't write down the sizes, but I will have those down below. I'll maybe even try to make a, a layout kit out of this one. So this one was using the die cuts out of the page kit and I just used pieces. I had these little ants from uh, Doodlebug. They're so cute. Little watermelon and the sun and the umbrella. Um, I kind of got this idea from Kelly and from the instructions for it. I believe that it was like a block one. And I liked how they had the letters with the stuff. And so, of course, my layouts being smaller, it was a little harder to do. I did kind of try to do it here and here, but I ended up just kind of laying them along the bottom and really liked it. And so I have three of these that I've done. I love it. I love this layout. The photos here are two by three, and this one is a four by six. The measurements, of course, eight and a half by 11 on the white paper. Let me grab this little ruler here. And then I have three and a half inches with this pattern paper. And if I remember correctly, this paper was the one that came with the workshop kit. And then the stripe paper is about a fourth of an inch by eight and a half. So pretty simple layout. This is Glacier um light i believe i'm using some glacier today on the other layout so i can lay that up there yeah glacier light i just think it's a really fun layout and i wanted to share it i've got a few that i've already finished so I, um over the next few days i'll probably just try to share a finished layout and then work on one of the layouts i need to finish so i'm going to set this aside and like i said i will try to put something similar into the description below as a cut file. So this one is a funny layout to me. I am not using this picture. Miranda hates sand. And I know I've I've said that before. I think I've, I might not have done that other layout of her running back to the car. She is more than ticked. So I finally was able to sit down with her and got, well, I'm tickling her, trying to get her to smile so we can at least get a somewhat of a smile. The best way to get her on the sand is this, and I thought this was so cute, where Jason's covering his eyes, and so she is too. And then there's a really good picture, I think, of us. So these are the pictures I'm going to scrap today. And I am going to be doing, I, I did secure the white daisy down, 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to start first with this piece, and it is a stencil from Lawn Fawn. I didn't even check to see if, if uh, Close to My Art has one, but there's three different sides. And you just put it down. You know what, before I, I think I have, I do have Glacier. I've got most of the colors now. In fact, I think I have all of the colors. I'm gonna try this with the Glacier. Because when I first started doing the other one, I didn't have Glacier at the time I had, um, just this pool party. So let's see how that looks. That's a little darker than I kind of wanted, but it's cute. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. So now I want to start dark kind of maybe in the center. There we go. Let's see here. There, there we go. And I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy, so maybe I'll kind of add in a little line here. I love that you can just kind of add things into here and build on it. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see here. Maybe 
Maybe that, let's try this one. And now I've got to match it over here on this other side. That's going to be a little harder for me. I am putting a border over here, at least so far. That's kind of been my thought. Kind of. There we go. And how far down do I want to go? I'm not sure. Let's do another couple rows. Worst case, I will cover it up with some paper and it'll look cool. Okay, let's tilt this again. I do like that. I'm just running it around in a circle. Um, uh, maybe this way. That is so pretty. That's so pretty. Loving this. I always tell myself, get out your stencils more. And I, I just don't. I'm going to just add some of this there. And I love the color. I do love that color. I'm so glad that I switched to that one. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to move this mat. And then I'm going to start over here. And I'm not going to worry if I've got the same side. It doesn't matter. And we'll start about there. Pretty much I just want it to kind of look like this is what I would, you know, was wanting to do. Let's add some color up there. This I don't really care for too much, but yeah, we'll live with it. I'm going to angle this here. And maybe angle this down over here. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little better. Uh, yeah. Uh, start in the middle. Kind of wish this was a 12 by 12 so that I could just kind of go across the, the stencil, not the paper. I'm fine with the paper being smaller. But if the stencil was bigger, it wouldn't try to loop around here. But, yeah, it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. Let's see here. I'm going to go down through here to try and tie that in. And then over here. Cool. Uh, let's go up that way. So I don't want it just to be, you know, straight across. Oh, I want to fix this one right here. There we go. Still looks kind of like a wing right there. I have a picture that's going to go over here, I bet. So, And my pictures are also, well, how big are they? Approximately four and a half by three and three quarters. I did cut them down a little bit. So putting that there won't be a problem. Okay, I'm going to start this again. Did I, I don't want that side. I want more like this side. And... This side, add some blues up in there, this little glacier. Oh, and then this one. Uh, there we go. And I'll finish with this one. Yeah, this was one of the, the, stencils I got a couple months ago and I really love it. I do love it. I do not have any baby wipes and my chamois is not wet so I can't wash that off right now. I'm a little blue, <laughs> just a smidge, and then I'll run water on this and let that dry too. Okay, so that's where I'm starting at. The next pieces that I have, actually I can move this over now. The next pieces I have are these. So I want to put that there. And then I want to build kind of like a water down here. And then this will go over that. Do I want the light side? I think I want the light side. But that's what I want to do on both. And the center is going to be really hard because of the way that these pieces are cut to kind of match. I guess I could do that. 
but then over here to get that to match I would have to do something like that and then trim it uh, it's not the worst idea I've had that does not work I could do more this hmm. This was the dregs of this paper, and that's why it's so, so I could try that. Let me look at that. That is so cool. I, I'm sorry, I'm looking up here. I love the, the cloud part. That is so cool. Okay, I'm just going to run with it. I didn't even put adhesive on anything. It was a very, very good day. I accomplished so much and I am so proud of myself for everything I accomplished. I now have probably 95% of my paper put away and organized. I did not go through any more stamps today, which was so nice. Um, the paper was enough. I didn't really get rid of paper. I have a little pile to go through that I might get rid of, I should say. But for the most part, I w it was not a focus on what I'm getting rid of. It was a, if I see something I want to get rid of, then I did. Um, it was more a just get the paper where I can kind of see it, feel it, look at it. And if I want to get rid of something, fine. But now I can actually see my paper. And the way I had it stored before was fine. I'm very happy either way. Uh, happier the way it is now because I can access it easier and put things away easier and I'm really learning about myself on that that if it's not an open source which I'm not really keen on a lot of open you know storage in my office because uh, I don't like to see the mess I'd rather shove it in a drawer um, but with that said the filing with the binders I was using to store my paper, I was finding it really difficult to put my papers away and I would resort to not even looking in the binders. And so that was kind of, kind of sad, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm gonna grab this sticker sheet and I have this Bubbles sticker and I think it's so cute. And even though it's, you know, it's not like a pool page, I just think it's cute. And I like how that gives that little kind of differentiate from the clouds. So, yeah, I got so much done today. I'll trim that up better if I need to. And it felt amazing. It felt so good just to be able to get my closet completely gutted at the floor level and vacuumed. Oh, vacuuming was the best. I'm sure some of you understand my, my thoughts on that, but sometimes it's hard to vacuum the office because there'll be stuff. Of course, in my office, there's always stuff, but um, there'll just be a lot of stuff that I don't want to go into the vacuum. And I'm not the, I don't know, I tend to just kind of start and wing it. And uh, my little rug likes to go into the vacuum cleaner and jam it up. And yeah, that's how I roll. So I am very thankful that my office is vacuumed, the papers put away, my um, embellishments are kind of put away. I do need to go through some embellishments, but the boulders, where is it? This one. I have a bunch of these and I love them. They are amazing. And so I had a bunch of those with ideas of what I wanted to do with this paper. And I forgot. I mean, they're just sitting on a table right next to me and I forgot about them. That's how messy my office has been. I did take before pictures though. So as soon as I get it finished, I will do um, an office share. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do that, but I think I figured it out. And I will share 
my new clean office because I'm very proud of it. I love these clouds. These are so cool. Okay, and I got these bubbles on. They're so cute. Aren't those the cutest little bubbles? They're just cute. Okay, so now I've got these pictures. And I really like the pictures of us, but I kind of feel like Jason needs to be over there. This is one of my favorites of her and I. I feel like maybe, hmm. That's probably how it should go. What if I, hmm, I don't really have, I don't have to do that, but it could be kind of cool. I could do something like that. Let's see, what do I got to go in it? I like this soak up the sun. So let me grab that one and I'll add some pop tape to it. Where did I set that? There you are. <laughs> I still have a few left. <laughs> I'm trying my darndest to, to save those as long as possible. In fact, today I'm going to actually cut these just so I don't have to use them. Okay, so we've got that. This looks kind of boring. I love that picture of them. It's so cute. I might have bumped my camera again. If I did, I'm sorry. So what else do we got here? We've got Summer Fun, You Are My Sunshine. Oh, I kind of like that, and it matches pretty good. Here comes the sun. Uh, well, we are in, when we're in Washington, we're in Long Beach, which is really cool beach. It is different. I, we had, I'd never been there before. Got some beach balls. Let me see if those will do anything. Okay, well, those are the ones I have to choose from. Let's see what we got. We have Good Times, which I might like better. Love this life of ours. Currently, I like this one. Um, savor the moment? No, I don't think so. This is said daily highlights I think I would go with it and I think I would like this one better than the other I do like the remember this day so let's see here I know it's lagoon hmm it's awfully big is she okay yeah, she does The other I could do would be to kind of put these pictures. I could either do them straight or I could angle them. And I could put this like that and then grab some. What bits do we have? We've got the sunglasses, we've got stars. Um, I could put this one flat. I do have two of them. I could put that flat. Put a ball in there just for some color. We could stick some things in around in here. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's probably one of the better ideas. 
I have extra stars that I didn't use someplace else. I like the flamingo, but not really Oregon coasty. Okay. Let me look at this. I think I think I definitely like this. I like the color of it in I don't think it would look good if I was to bring that orangey color in. I think this one's good. And we can get that filled out easily enough. So I'm going to put that down. And then Jason's picture alone on that side. I like that better. And then I want to put this at an angle so that it's kind of mimicking and allowing me to have angles over here. And then let's kind of put that down. Cover up a little bit of that. There we go. Get rid of the little bits. These start, well, some of these have that little um, coating on them like that set I was playing with yesterday. That blends in. Put that up there. And we got orange. We aren't really doing popsicles. I like the sun though. Oh, I want that to pop out from over there somewhere. I like that. Let me grab another of the balls. I think tying a ball in over here would be cute. Okay, let's add these pictures before I do any more embellishments. I really like this paper and I love, love, love these clouds. So fun and so cute. Mm, I like that. Okay, now do I want to put the sun? I think I want to cut the sun. I kind of cut it in half. Huh? I want it there. I want it there. I think I like it over here. I just ripped the paper. So I will be putting the ball. So I want the ball kind of here. Hmm. I'm going to be careful. I think inking the paper made it a little less structurally sound. sunshine. Oh, I like that. Add some stars to kind of coordinate with the other page. Oh, that one's cute. It's got a little star in the center. off all the red that was on that ball. Okay. 
There, that ties it in a little bit. Put that down there, and then I will put that peachy one over there. Let me take a look. I'll take the sun. I only want one sun. Yeah. So I just have to fill this out. See current mood. <laughs> Stressed. <laughs> uh, kind of all of the above. I mean, she she really did well once we had her on his shoulders, and once I was kind of messing around with her. But I think it's a really cute layout. I'm very happy with it. So we'll have to go over our our thoughts and put them in here and just enjoy it. This was a really fun layout today. Thank you for sharing your time with me so I could share my time with you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.